Gary Bjorklin of Twig, Minnesota, was an All-American runner five times at the University of Minnesota. Two weeks ago, he qualified for the Olympics in the 10,000 meter run, and he's been preparing for the race of his life in Boulder, Colorado, and Mark Rosen paid him a visit. I think every track athlete, from the time that they first put shoes on, dream about the Olympics and, and the possibility of going to the games and competing against the best people in the world. And, and for me, this is, uh, well, I'm very fortunate that now it's reality. Gary Bjorklund's road to the Olympics has been a rough one. Four years ago, he fully expected to be in the Munich Games. He was so confident that he even enrolled in a German class in school. But a serious foot injury necessitated surgery, putting Gary out of the games, causing a shattering emotional experience. It really messed me up for a while to, uh, to be ranked uh, nationally and internationally and all of a sudden have that, that gone and, and at a, a tender age, really. And uh, coming back from that's been a long road, but in the long run, I think it's given me many different perspectives on running. It's given me an opportunity to test myself in, in, in different ways than, than I might otherwise have, and I think it's made me much hungrier as an athlete. Gary's healthy now and at the age of 25 is enjoying running more than ever. One month ago, he was running 120 miles a week in the mile high air of Boulder. But with the Olympics only a short time away, he's now down to 70. One reason Gary trains in Boulder is the abundance of world-class runners, notably Olympic marathon champ Frank Shorter. Bjorklund stopped for a visit at Shorter's home beneath Flagstaff Mountain catching his friend and running mate in one of his rare moments of relaxation, resting his calloused feet on the front steps. Gary knows that not much is accomplished by sitting. It's time to go back to work. Bjorklund will be a long shot to win a medal in the 10,000 meters. He'll be facing a number of seasoned veterans from Europe, where this event is practically their national pastime. Could he come back from Montreal without a medal and still be satisfied knowing that he did his best? You know, they say that the most important thing is to uh, take part, you know, not the winning. But uh, uh, I think I could, be, I could be satisfied and content to come home and, and begin a new plan of attack to go back and, and try and win again. Uh, that's, that's really what it's all about. He figures by the time he gets to Montreal, he'll have raced that 10,000 meters over a thousand times in his mind, dreaming of crossing the finish line first. He'll get a chance to turn that dream into reality on July 26th. With photographer Jack Silverman, this is Mark Rosen reporting from Boulder, Colorado. Middle